So my name is Gian Skada. I am currently 26 years old. I am a single mom of one beautiful daughter. Her name is Reiko Enna. I put her tattoo on my arm. I have another tattoo here. I also love art and I am also a graduate of aircraft engineer. I'm proud of being an Air Force also from the Philippines. Before I came here in Japan, it had, uh, I had a lot of troubles. So it took me a long bravery to face being alone here in Japan. I left my daughter in the Philippines. So I left her when I was 21. I had to come back here in Japan. And the feeling was different for me. Because when I, whenever I remember the hardships in life, looking back five years ago, I sacrificed my daughter. I also sacrificed the father of my daughter so I can reach my dreams. And I had to work here and I had to come back because I cannot stay in the, in the Philippines because I am as well a Japanese citizen also. So the choice that I had was, should I stay in the Philippines or should I go back here in Japan. So when I came here in Japan, it was a great shock for me. In Japan, i not fluent in Japanese anymore. I can't understand, but I am fluent in English, Filipino language. That is all that I can do here when I came here in Japan. When I came here, I was so excited. I love the food. I also love the people. I, I met a lot of uh, different nationalities in Japan and their stories that I've heard. So when I first came here in Japan, I was like staying at my ex-best friend's house because I had, a, well, honestly, my mother and my father had a fight before, so I couldn't stay in Tokyo. So I had to stay with a friend. And that's how I end up from being a Tokyo girl to Koga. So in Koga, I met, I met my friend, but now we don't talk anymore because we had a fight. But she was still special for me. And that's how I encountered the difficulties in life. Because you get to meet fake friends, fake people. They will use you when you're too kind, when you're nice to people. And then there are some people who advise me to be strong again. If you are strong in the Philippines, you took a lot of bravery to work here and you miss your family in the Philippines. I miss my friends and all, but I was looking forward to my dream. I want to have my own business. I want to pursue my careers in life and I don't want to give up. I never want to give up on my dreams. I cried. I cried a lot. I I cried a lot when I had no one here. I had no one here because my, there was trouble five years ago, but then I met wonderful people in Koga right now. I met the family that took me in that nurtured me that despite I have my bad flaws, everybody has bad flaws, good and bad. They loved me, accepted me. So that's how I learned to grow. And I, everybody, and I noticed here in Japan that they went through depression. So it was true, but I had to fight and I want to put the motivation to each and everyone, especially teenagers, women, men, all of us, that we can move forward, honestly. Because 
even if you're weak, you can always be strong with your family, with your closest friends in life. And never hate anyone. Because I've experiencing, that was before, that I hated, that I didn't know how to forgive. But then, time goes by. I forgave. The forgiveness makes me happy. Forgiveness makes us all happy. Because if we have heavy feeling in our hearts, we cannot see the word shiawase in Japanese or the happiness in life. You forgive, you help, otagai sama. And that's what I learned here in Japan, how I encountered a lot. I've made mistakes in life here. I have hurt people. They've hurt me also, some of them. But then, number one thing that I've learned is just to forgive and move forward. And I am proud of that. And whenever I see someone who needs help, I, I'll be there for you. I'll be your friend. I'll listen to your life story. Because I know I've been through a lot. And when no one was there, and I met a lot of people that waited for me, that told me never give up. The, the, those words meant everything for me because the one thing one reason is my daughter because she looks up to me she always tells me that she loves me and despite that me and her dad is not good as of the moment we can still move forward as usual and someday maybe someday we will be together as one family because he is from the philippines i am in japan but for now, we need to be happy for our daughter and pursue our dreams together. Then I hope no one will interfere what our love as one family is. And I still believe that all humans are not bad people. We just tend to get hurt and then we just made every scenario to hurt other people, to make mistakes. We still have choices in life. So, for the future in Japan, I want to stay here for my daughter. So probably if I go, grow old, I might stay in the Philippines. But as of now, I love the culture here in Japan. The discipline, the, it's, and it's clean. And I've seen... Japanese people and as well in here in Japan respect you put respect to one another and Everybody has your back you put love and faith and One thing for me also is that I've always put God in my heart That's how he saved me and how he saved my friends and family now I'm perfectly happy and Everything that I have I am fully contented and I want to share the blessings, not for myself. I want to be someone to inspire. Inspire women, inspire everyone that we live life to the fullest. We just don't let anyone put us down. So here in Japan, you, you, there's a lot of dreams as long as you work hard for it. No dream is just, you, you don't have to, like sleep, there's no dream. You have to work for it. And Japan made me realize that it takes you or myself to work hard. And Japan is one of the best work jobs that I've seen here so far. But I love the culture. But I badly miss Philippines. But Japan... Indeed, it's a great country. It's just that we need to support with each other, especially all nationalities, to welcome the culture as well. So, I hope that uh, if anyone sees me while I'm speaking here in front, <laughs> I hope that the message of what I'm sharing regarding Japan and my life stories here. Some people might know me 
with bad stories, some people might know me by good stories, I will accept and I will still smile because I know everyone is not perfect. I am proud and thankful and contented. Thank you. I am what I experienced, honestly, I cannot work. Uh, my previous work was in Ikotai or two shifts. Example, this week is day shift. Next week is night shift. So I don't have, or rather, I didn't have anyone to look after my daughter. And I just don't trust pe some people to take care. But then I have like friends that are older than me that I treated them as family. So they, we took turns to uh, take care of my daughter. So I had to work. Financially, that's number one too, being a single mom. I fought for that five years already. But then I came up to the idea, why would I stress over myself, my, over money? I can still find money, but I cannot find the happiness of my daughter. I cannot see my daughter suffering just because I cannot do anything to myself. So every day, I'm always thinking that there's no difficulty. Despite that, I, I secretly cry. I couldn't um, talk to anyone about how hard it was for me. But then I had, um, uh, being honest, I had a breakdown this year because I, um, I couldn't handle it anymore. So my friends, they hugged me. They told me to be open because we, they know that it was hard for me that I worked hard for my daughter. I'm, all, I'm only human, so my body couldn't handle it anymore. That to the point that I was hospitalized because I overworked. Then I realized that if I'm contented and I'm just gonna pray for, especially for my health and for my daughter, everything will be in good place. So right now, despite the difficulties up until now, I'm still fighting for it. And I'm just thinking that we, I have to work in a good health, in which that we need a good health to work. So I have to sleep, good sleep, and then good food, healthy food, healthy food perhaps. So I can move forward to work and provide for my daughter and for me and especially for our dreams together someday. I think it's really common here in Japan for single mothers because they don't really fix their relationships or maybe because of abuse. It, there's a different reasons. For me, I became a single mother because being honest, Ma, we were happy together, despite we fight, despite he made mistakes, I made mistakes. We would always end up forgiving each other and just say we love each other. I became a single mother because I had to come back here in Japan and we're not married. My family didn't want us to get married and well, on, my family was against our relationship. That's why I became a single mother. Because he would always fight for his love for me, for his love for his daughter. Even without, even honestly, he, his family has money. But despite him, and well, despite of my family also, it's just that even he doesn't have money as right now, some example, he can always work and after years goes by, I believe that he will be successful. But they didn't give that chance before. That was five years ago. One of the reasons why I became a single mother. Well, and as well that he gave up. He gave up on us and I gave up on him. But we still talk for our daughter. He provides, but then I just told him that I well maybe someday. 
if I am not ready to get married yet or to have a relationship because I still believe in true love. I still believe with having the comfort with the person that you will love and the person that will loves you. Probably that is my answer. Some of them, they see me as Japanese. If they look closely to my eyes, some of them, they see me as a Brazil. I'm, they told me I'm, I look more like a Latina beauty than a Japanese. So, but mostly I look like a foreigner to them. But you can speak uh, fluent Japanese. Yes, I, I can. But because of the look, because of how I look, maybe because some of them like, oh, I'm sorry, you're Japanese. <laughs> so that was when you're like, I'm so sorry. Um, yes, I am. I, I know I don't look like one, but yes, I am Japanese. So <laughs> I get that a lot. So I just told them that I'm half Filipino, so I, I'm sorry if I don't look like I'm Japanese. But some Japanese people, Japanese, <laughs> they usually tell me, oh, I know you are a Nihonjin. But some of them were like, no, you look like, a, you look like Peru, you look, you look like uh, Brazil. So, okay, I look like that one. So, um, I, I'm, I'm so good with that. Up until now. I still look like a foreigner to them. Yeah. Even in, in the Philippines, I also look like a foreigner to them. So it doesn't change. <laughs> well, that is. The plans for my future as of the moment is pursuing my business here in Japan. Well, it's still small, but I, I hope that it will grow and strong or grow stronger and bigger in a good purpose and i'll stay here in japan um i hope with the father of my daughter because as a family i hope that no one can cause pain to us anymore we we may not be together i'm still a single mother but I want to see my daughter happy. Yeah, my daughter means a lot to me. So in Japan, I hope I can give her a good future. Ichibang daiji, watashi no musume. That I'll give her the future that she is secured. She may, that she will go to a good college, just like what just like what we did as her parents. And she, she will work with what her dreams is. I, we will support her. I will support her. And that's what I think as of the moment um, with the future in Japan. My business, my daughter, my life. And I hope my family, my own family, that I will build and I will protect this time. And probably choosing myself in the future. I used to choose other people, please other people. And I don't want to do it anymore. I want to be happy this time. That I want to have my own rights. I want to make my own decisions. So I hope in the future that I will grow and think wisely that it's time to choose for myself and for my dreams. Not for anyone. Probably that's my <laughs> that part of my advocacy in life. And I'm thankful for that. Um, here in Japan, you are very serious with work. <laughs> with work and then you go home and then you sleep, relax. And what I observed here, people usually drink alcohol, beer, and chew high. <laughs> but in the Philippines, after work, you get to hang out with your friends, have fun. And even if you're tired, and then you, when you get home, you still have time to exercise and do stuff. Uh, exercise, read a book, watch movies. But here in Japan, you just have to sleep because you're so tired. You just sleep. And then on weekends, 
you clean the house <laughs> and all so you're still working hey well there are still fun times here in japan um the culture here you get to see a lot of great places as well as in the philippines but i love the beach in the philippines i love the ocean i love waters so i haven't seen the ocean here yet like okinawa <laughs> or i really want to go but the difference for me philippines makes me feel like i'm home yep well japan is my national but it's different because you i grew up mostly in the philippines you connect with people you connect with people here in japan it's so hard because it's like <laughs> the distance yeah uh, like like with what we chatted earlier that distance with each other it's hard to talk and I'll, i've observed that there's like they're good in front of you but then at the back you, they speak bad about you so well it's it's probably normal even in the philippines but here in japan it's just that you're smiling but then they actually hate you so <laughs> i'm like okay the difference with the culture Just, well i'm still observing up even though i'm I, i'm already staying here in japan for five years but the discipline is number one that i what i love here in japan compared to philippines the discipline is a bit not that good but still coping here in japan discipline and respect and good service that's what I love here. That's what the Philippines, well, kind of lack a little bit, but still coping because not everyone is perfect, like I mentioned. So different cultures, Filipinos or the Philippines makes you feel the fun in life, especially from what I'm from in the Philippines, that is Bacolod City. Um, it was it is called the city of smiles so from that province that i'm from in the philippines now i understand the meaning of city of smiles because we bring happiness to other people from tourists from our families and friends and everyone and the festivals in the philippines i love it i miss the feeling of festivals because you get to hang out with people you get to see concerts I get to see bands, music festivals, and I really like it. So I think that's for for my observation. That's the difference with the cultures. Um, what is the favorite part of Japanese culture? Japanese culture that I can stand is racism. Like what did we mention earlier? I look like a foreigner. Some of them are looking at me like, "Why are you Japanese?" So. Up until now, there there are still some races. Well, everywhere we go, and but for Japanese culture that I don't like is there. Some of them are fake. With they smile, but it's not from the heart. So that's what I've observed. So when it's nice to feel somehow that you're smiling, and you can see it from the eyes. Honestly, if someone is honest with you or be or they like to be in good service with you you can see it from the eyes if they're happy just or not uh what i love in japanese culture is food <laughs> honestly food music anime i like anime <laughs> ever since so i not much though because i still believe this is why that i don't like the trait or the culture in Japan in Japan but I tend to like connect with it and understand why so the good part here in Japan is that one I like anime food and tourist spots I want I like to go anywhere <laughs> and see um uh, tourist spots like Akihabara or 
like I mentioned, Okinawa, Hokkaido. I want to go every, anywhere in Japan as of the moment to see other cultures, not just here in <laughs> here in like Tokyo area or Ibaraki or Tochigi. Probably another prefectures. To love the culture, to adjust, not for everyone though, but to share all our nationalities, um, to be one united nation. Like, I'm half and half, so I will always understand the Philippines part. I will always understand the Japan, Japanese part or from Japan. So to share other ideas is to share, to share your stories, despite that you've experienced tears in your eyes or blood in your hands. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but you know, the hard work in life. So I've motivated A lot of my friends and whoever saw me before maybe maybe one thing that i forgot to mention that i used to model and be a beauty queen in the philippines that how that's why i learned to mentor and motivate because despite that all my experiences in life i'm proud of it so now I, i'm not that beauty queen material as of the or what they would say model body but everyone can be confident with who they are so it's better to be like Pia words back that I remembered always stay confidently beautiful with a heart so that's how I can share my idea both uh, for Japan and for the Philippines for everyone just be happy in life there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong to explore and see the reality that you don't have to look down. Always look up and be proud. That's my idea, <laughs> how I share. I haven't really studied here in the Philipp uh, in Japan, but when I started in the Philippines, I enjoyed it because I, I, get, I am studious and I love to study before and I really want to finish. I got pregnant while I was in college, but I still pursued to study and graduate. So I graduated my college in aviation engineering. So here in Japan, I just probably I, I started online in Japanese or at a school it's quite different it's for me they're really serious more serious than in the Philippines that's uh, what I think when it comes to school system but they have a but the school system here is I've heard in the news that the bullying is really um, increased so in the Philippines when you're bullied they actually fight and do the right thing that it's not okay to bully someone it's not fun to bully someone because it doesn't make you a good person or rather it makes you feel better to bully so here in japan still i, th I still think that they're still working on the progress or to take responsibility that the bullying should stop in school so i teach my daughter when someone bullies you you fight back when you are right but sometimes you need someone or you just call your teacher why or if you're gonna uh, why did that person do that to me or you can also talk to me as your mom so I can protect you as well and for my daughter if ever she she is the bully I will let her stop and make her understand that it's not good. That's what I think as of the moment for the school system.